Hey, it's Finn and Command. I'm back with another paleo tour. I'm here at Tisha's house, Tisha's dream house. One of the new features of the paleo 181 update. Let's go check it out, shall we? Right off the bat, we have this really cool looking fountain thing. I like how Tish used these blocks and had uh, the lighting. I think it's been really cool to see kind of how people have been uh, incorporating the building blocks into their build. You know, we had the uh, the red wrapped present, and now it looks like people don't really even have to worry about it. So we're definitely going to go on the outside first before we go on the inside. Oh, I like these. I like this walkway. It's just very, very subtle. And what do we got over here? Holy cow. Oh, ha, sorry. It's an Ormu. <laughs> That's really creative. This is kind of like origami uh, for the building blocks. We got this nice, uh, nice workshop out here. Very, very useful, very useful, very clean too. Very clean. I like how there's just very subtle lighting and we got this very cute farm. Uh oh. Looks like, uh, looks like there's some weeds. Tish got to get with it. There's just fun little flowers hidden all over the place. And then we have this nice, sweet meandering path over to this building. What do we got in here? Ooh, check out this Emberborn stuff. It's really cool to see how people have incorporated these different elements in their design, like these specific, uh, the specific style of furniture and Emberborn, it just feels like, you know, you could totally bang your shin on it and have a bad day. But it's a bold, bold statement piece. Now we're going to go around the outside. I like that that patio and I like just you can tell that there are some flowers that it looks like we don't have yet. I wonder what those could be. Ah, oh, look at this nice little seating area. We got some pavers around this hot tub. That's really cool. Got a cool little chimnea. Just kind of take a take a rest here. That's nice. Oh, look at this gazebo. There's flowers all the way around it. I love how the lighting totally changes the mood of a place. Look how cool this is. This totally makes sense for this this particular fireplace. Ash, you know, cauldron, whatever you want to call it, is sitting on this uh, stone paver, stone brick in it, a stone. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. I love how the paths just kind of meander and you have this wonderful courtyard, too, that's nice and open and airy. You got sight lines. Ooh, this is a new wallpaper, too. I like the look of that. Let's check out what we got over here. Oh, yeah. This is a mood. This is a mood in here. I like this. So warm. Nice, cozy fireplace across from a couch. And that leads out to the, the hot tub. Over here, we have a nice bathroom. I like this bay window. Just kind of have some flowers out here. Uh-oh. Tish didn't get the memo. Got to play the game of hide the toilet in Palea. Oh, oh, look at this. Got a nice little design change. The red and, and the, uh, the black, they go really well together. So I was thinking as I was walking through here, you know, Tish, you're you're pretty uh pretty practicor, but we got some eclecticor vibes in here though. Now let's go into the front of the plot because we got lots of really cool things to look at too along the way. Look at these little cute flower gardens, little picnic areas. We also have some new flowers that we don't have yet. You have the new growable furniture too. I think it's super cute. I'm kind of curious to see what everybody cooks up with that. I love the lighting on here too. And this bench 
I really feel like this gives off sort of like a wedding venue vibe. All right, we went on the outside. Let's go in the inside. This is a really cool use of this patio space. Oh, yeah, here we go. Love how Tish uses the centerpiece here just to kind of block you. And that's really cool. We, we have the Emberborn stuff on top of the gold bricks. That's a really nice touch. We'll go on over here to the right. Got some cozy fireplace with the uh, capital chic. Look at this. This is really cool. There's that new wallpaper again. That's a cool backdrop. Right as you walk in, and we have some new portraits here too. This big one of a sure. I wonder if we'll get that later. Got a little bug blushy. And it looks like we got some plushies we don't have yet either. I like this uh, this nice little gallery wall. Very simple lighting on top of this uh, portrait here, too. That that really highlights it well. Look at this. The March of Mujin and Cernic. She's obviously flexing some, uh, some gemstones here. We'll start going straight ahead. Ah, oh, here we go. Got the blue room showing off some really cool Dragon Tide stuff. I kind of like how she used this blue backdrop. Very simple, very chic. That's really cool. I haven't seen uh, too many people use like just this wallpaper for the backdrop. Oh, look at this dining room. This is totally, totally clean. Very pretty, very elegant. Oh, wow. Most of the time I see people setting the plateware and everything like that, but this is cool to have it like set up exactly, you know, as it's ready, ready to go. Look at this kitchen. This kitchen is super cute. Very clean, very simple, very elegant. Got everything that you need, though. Nice lighting. Fresh flowers. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let you know. Let me know what you enjoyed the most. Uh, Tish will likely read this, so. You want to make sure and be kind. Tish, uh, you're officially a Paleon tour guide. You have had a tour by a fan and commit. Unfortunately, we couldn't do Q&A. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll do some Q&A. But until next time, take care, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.